Max from Galaxy S4 root uh, dot com. Today I'm going to show you how to um, root your Galaxy S4 uh, using Twerp Recovery instead of the Qualcomm Remote Recovery. Now, currently, as of this video, um, Twerp Re Recovery is available um, for devices like GTI 9505, Sprint T Mobile, also um, any Canadian Galaxy S4s like Bell, uh, Rogers Telus, and also US Cellular. Um, so if the twerp recovery is available, you can use this method to also root. And I know some of you are having with trouble with uh, GTI 9505, um, the uh, shopper method. So you can use this method since Clockwork Recovery is not available for uh, that phone. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and show it to you. The first thing you'll need to do, uh, I've got the Sprint version here, Sprint Galaxy S4. Power off your phone, and you're going to put it into uh, download mode. And we'll be using Windows Computer today. Um, I'll have another guy for Mac or Linux later down the line. Um, go ahead and hold down uh, volume down, center home, and the power. Uh, first hold down volume down, and then center home, and then hit the power button in that order. And hold them all down together until you see this warning screen. All right. And go ahead and hit volume up, and this will enter you into um, download mode. And I don't have my camera with me, so I'm using my Galaxy S4 today. I'm, this is not my mess. This is my friend's house. Um, so don't be telling me I'm messy. All right, connect it to your computer, and let's go to our computer. All right, next go ahead and download um, Twerp Recovery you'll need. Go to galaxys4root.com. Go to um, Clock Remark Twerp Recoveries. Um, so you can see here, I've, I'm keep updating this page with the available Twerp recoveries. Go ahead and download the appropriate version. So this root method currently will work for these, but later on it might be added for uh, other devices also, other models. So I'm going to go ahead and download this one. And also you will also need uh, Odin, uh, Samsung USB drivers if you haven't had it. And also download Super SU if you don't have those. Um, so go ahead and download those and then we will continue. You'll have to have um, these four files, uh, basically everybody's same for everyone except you might have different twerp recovery tar file as long as you, um, if you don't see the dot tar don't worry about it, it might be because you don't have extensions enabled. Um, go ahead and uh, unzip the Odin 3 and uh, you can unzip your favorite uh, unzipping software. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open with uh, Windows Explorer here. Go ahead and unzip all the files, extract all files, and I'm going to extract, and this will probably make a new folder. Sorry, my camera. <laughs> I don't have a real good tripod mount here. But um, once you have that there, um, you should have Odin program, and we're going to go ahead and run it. All right. And go ahead and say yes here. All right, and let me change camera angle real quick. And you should have this uh, yellow highlighted side in. Now, if you don't see it, um, you need to install the Samsung USB drivers. You just download it. If you don't see the yellow highlighted sign, uh, go back to where you download all the files and uh, basically run the Samsung USB drivers that you downloaded. Go ahead and run that um, and unplug your USB and plug it back in. And you should be able to see the yellow highlight sign. Um, next, what you want to do, don't touch anything else. If you have the yellow highlight sign, go ahead and choose PDA. And then go ahead and find that uh, file, the open recovery blah blah um, dot tar file here. Mine is um, for Sprint. As you can see, it ends in SPR. Go ahead and open that. All right. And there we go. And you should have um, the PDA checked there. And all you have to do is hit start, and this will pretty much uh, root your phone. Let me go ahead and uh, show you with the phone while it's going. So I'm going to go ahead and put my phone there. And uh, there we go. So I'm going to hit start. And it should flash the recovery. And if you see reset and pass, you're all good to go. Um, let it reboot for now. And then we will continue. All right. Once your phone's rebooted, um, leave it alone, and uh, go ahead and uh, uh, leave it connected to your uh, computer. 
And next what you're going to do is copy this file. Um, let me move myself down here so you can see better. And I'm going to go ahead and do right click copy on the CW and Super SU. This isn't what will actually give you root. So go ahead and copy and go ahead and uh, paste it to anywhere in your phone. Uh, I'm going to go to my phone here. And I'm going to just uh, do a right click paste anywhere there. So I'm going to do right click paste. All right. And you should have Super uh, SU there in your phone. And let's go to our phone next, the last part. We're going to power it off, power off your phone. And we're going to reboot into the new twerp recovery we just installed and simply flash the clockwork, uh, the CWM file we just copied over, which gives you complete root. Uh, so with your phone turned off, go ahead and hold down volume up instead of volume down. Volume up, center home, and the power button. And hold it down together until you see a little blue thing up in the top. You see that? And let go of all the buttons. And this will enter you into Clockwork Mod Recovery. Now if you missed it for some reason, sometimes it will reboot. Um, that what you can do is uh, pull the battery and try it again. Because if you hold down the power button a little bit too long, it will actually reboot. So go ahead and try it again. Um, volume up, center home, and the power button. Alright. And wait till that little blue sign up at the left. Let go of all the buttons. There we go. We got it this time. And it should boot into the new twerp recovery. And this is what the new twerp recovery looks like there. And all you're going to do is go to install. And go ahead and find that file you copied over, which is the CWM Super SU blah blah that's it. This is an older version of uh, Super SU, which will give you root. Go ahead and swipe to install it. And that's done. And that's it. And reboot system now. Um, it is very similar to uh, Clockwork My Recovery. Go ahead and reboot your phone. Um, go to system here. And you should have full root uh, on your Galaxy S4 you know, whatever Galaxy S4 you're using. Um, this will work so long as there's a twerp recovery for your Galaxy S4. And for at and it will not work as of this video um, because you'll have to unlock the bootloader. But by the time you see this video, there might be a, there will be a unlocked, uh, unlock method for the bootloader on the at and Then you'll be able to use this method after unlocking bootloader. And also Verizon, the same case. Uh, most likely it will have a locked bootloader. Um, so go ahead and go to um, your app drawer, and you should have Super SU. Now this is an older version. I like it because um, go ahead and update the binaries if you want. All right, installation success. Um, if you want the latest version, just go to the Play Store and you'll be able to upgrade to the latest version of Super SU. I just like the older version uh, because it doesn't delay when you uh, when the super user window pops up. Um, next, you can go ahead and verify this. So go ahead and uh, download uh, Titanium Backup app real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and download Titanium Backup uh, app, which will uh, you, which you'll be able to verify full root access, and you can use this app to back up all of your apps. I highly recommend it. And if you get this uh, window, make sure you hit Grant. Um, your phone has been fully rooted, and also you can install new ROMs using uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, or sorry, Twerp Recovery. If you like Clockwork Mod Recovery, you can also uh, install Clockwork Mod Recovery using Odin, uh, or there are uh, CWM flat, or you can you can install it with Twerp Recovery also. You gotta just find the zip file for it, or also you can uh, ROM Manager probably supports uh, flashing. By the time you see this video, you can download the ROM Manager and update it that way. And also, if you want to switch back to Twerp, you can download the Twerp uh, app from the Play Store and reinstall Twerp. So you can kind of jump back and forth. Uh, it just gives you more options. Some people like Twerp, some people like Clockwork My Recovery. I just personally prefer uh, Clockwork My Recovery because I've been using it for like as long as um, it's been around since my Nexus One. Uh, but there you have it. Now you can root your GTI 9505 Sprint T-Mobile using the Twerp method. Another method. Um, so you know, uh, hopefully this will help you root your Galaxy S4. And as always, if you have a Galaxy S4, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxyS4root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with Rom of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And uh, also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me down here. Subscribe button down there. 
And uh, this actually Galaxy S4 camera is pretty awesome. Um, it works pretty well. As you can see, it kind of auto adjusts. I did have those uh, blurry moments, kind of. Not good as my DSLR, but definitely it's doing better than my handheld uh, Canon, uh, which does actually pretty good usually. But um, the camera on this uh, Galaxy S4 is pretty cool. So use it often for uh, vlogging and stuff in uh, this dual mode, you know, so you can see me. Anyway, see y'all later. Have fun. Uh, you know, go root that. Galaxy S4 and stay high on Android. Yeah.